We don't try to stay too safe. You try to push what the boundaries are, what is related. I was going to get my first tattoo, and I had no idea about tattooing. I really didn't. And then I remember the first day I met him was when I shook his hand, and that was kind of like we were homies that just felt right. And uh, he tattooed me, and it's this tattoo right here was the first one I ever did, and that's the first day I met Mike. What attracted me to the name in the beginning was that it didn't mean anything. And I didn't want any name to have any connotation. But through time and through you know, the illustrations that we do and the clothing and the, the vibe we give out and all that kind of stuff and the culture that we're part of, that's created the meaning behind Rebel 8. It does work with having, you know, art side and business side because the business is handled. But Rebel 8 is a company, it is a business, and that's how we're able to survive and keep moving. I had to have multiple jobs, you know, to even keep Rebel 8 riding for years. Don't quit your day job until you're making something happen. Even a small step forward, even a little thing, if it's a step in the right direction to where you want to go, it's still a step forward. And that's my rule has always been, do something for Rebel 8 every single day, even if it's a little thing. That's what it really takes. It's more about commitment to time. I don't know, it's exciting. And I think that's what I was going back to the whole thing of like, to me this is just tip of the iceberg. It's just like, we're just getting started. I can't wait.